please remember to check out our other videos and click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so you get notifications each time we upload another video. Morning folks, so I thought I'd give you a bit of an insight into what it's like uh, being an EV tech and showing you what I do on the road. Uh, today it's uh, minus one and we are on our way to Scotland and we're going to be there for the best part of a week. Got a lot of work to do so uh, you can follow my journey up there. Just service that got a bit of history with that car got a speeding ticket in it i delivered it about three years ago um, and it was supplied by jonathan porterfield of eco cars and originally it was sold by chorley so um, it's sort of been in and around the ev circles quite a lot so first day finished i'm off to the hotel now and first job done so. That is the end of day one. A uh, long day because a lot of driving um, and only one job that I booked in that I managed to squeeze in this afternoon, which was a leaf service and just a, an adjustment on one of the uh, one of the handbrake shoes. And that's it. So uh, here I am. And that's where I'll be sleeping until tomorrow. And then we're off to Kilmarnock to do two jobs in the morning and then uh, over towards Edinburgh to do a Tesla Model X. So. All good. I'll see you in the morning. Okay, so this is day two. Um, I've just uh, serviced the Kia Soul at the road. I completely forgot to uh, get my camera out. But uh, I'm doing a service on this leaf and one of the things is it's got a sticky charge flap, which uh, at the moment I'm trying to um, replicate. That's releasing okay. I've just took it apart, give it a little bit of grease and uh, that seems to have sorted it. So fingers crossed. That'll work from then on. And then from here, um, I'm going over to Falkirk to do a Tesla Model S. So I've got about another, probably half an hour, 45 minutes to do on this, and then uh, we'll be up the road. All right, folks, last job of the day. I'm here with this Model X, which is in a garage, which is really nice because it's freezing and it looks like it's about to rain any minute. And this will be it from here, back to the hotel and all done. So onwards and upwards. I am at my hotel in Edinburgh. I'll just show you actually, if I take you off the dashboard. Just turn that round. You can see that I am here in Edinburgh and I started off this morning just here in Air, in Ayrshire. Um, I went from there to Kilmarnock, which is somewhere there. Uh, did two jobs there. Went up to uh, that supercharger at Euro Central. Euro Central, I went to Falkirk where I did the Model X. And then I've come down to stay here because uh, in the morning, I've got three jobs in and around the Edinburgh area. So that will fill my day tomorrow. Quite a long day because one of those is uh, a bottom arm on a Zoe and a brake fluid change. Um, I've got a Model X and I've got a Tesla door handle. So full day, but um, yeah, all good. So that is day two out of the way and done. And uh, I'm going for a shower and I'm going to try and find myself something to eat. I went past a nice fish and chip shop just down the road, so hopefully I'll be able to phone them up and uh, click and collect some fish and chips. So, it, Interestingly, when I get to the hotel, my work doesn't seem to stop. Um, I usually spend a good probably hour, hour and 15 minutes just catching up with social media, going through emails from customers, DMs from customers, um, just all sorts of messages. I've now since being in the hotel I've got two more Nissan Leafs to service in Kilmarnock which I'll add on to the end of my week so um, I might need to stay another night but it's no it's no hardship I did factor that in um, and then so I'll grab them two on the way back down so from Aberdeen so yeah all good morning folks so quite early in the morning well early-ish uh, I'm off now to get some breakfast first of all um, the reason I've got this angle is because I wanted to show you the light that's behind my bed. Funky is that? It's like the penthouse suite. 
Okay, so first job of the day. You might recognize this from a very well-known YouTube channel and uh, Twitter doctor, I suppose I should call him, because that's exactly what he is. Working on his car today. Currently got the uh, driver's door, just stripping it down. Driver's door handle not working properly. Intermittently opening, intermittently um, not opening. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna solder in, hopefully a new uh, release micro switch for him and, and that should solve the problem. It's not the best weather today. Um, we're on top of a hill, as you are most of the time in Scotland. And the wind's blowing right across, so it's not making me the best working conditions. But actually, with the door like this, it's sort of shielding me a little bit. It's just my legs are getting cold. But uh, yeah, so right, crack on and then uh, on to the next job. Okay, so I've just finished off with Ewan's Tesla Model S door handle. It took a little bit longer than I expected, and um, it's quite cold, <laughs> struggling to move my fingers. But um, I'm now going from uh, Ewan's uh, to a place in Edinburgh to service a Tesla Model X. So it should be there in about half an hour, 21 miles. Okay, folks, what I'm doing here is I'm doing a near side bottom arm on this Renault Zoe, and I'm also doing a brake fluid change. So, I've got about an hour and a half of light left, so I need to pull my finger out. I've been a bit delayed today. Uh, I've just previously uh, done a Tesla Model X service and then I've headed up here. So, last job of the day, and then from here, I'm going to Perth. And then uh, the reason I'm going to Perth is I'm staying there and then I've got a job up in Pit Lockery tomorrow. Quite a big job, it's going to take most of the day. So uh, yeah, better crack on. All right, folks, bottom arm's on. So that's, um, it, it's not too bad a job. It's just, uh, I didn't really want to be doing it in the dark. So I needed to pull my finger out. So that's done. And now um, I'm just about to do a brake fluid change on this. Um, see, I've got my scanner there and uh, uh, it's a full lockout on this, so MSD out, 12 volt off, and uh, and then uh, I can get bleeding. So I'm going to get that done, that should take me about 45 minutes, and then uh, we'll be done, we'll be up the road. I just need to show you where I am. I'm up um, about 15 miles outside Pit Lockery. If you just look behind me, and then around here, this is where I'm working today. And I have to say, it's amazing. If I walk just down here, this is my view. Look at that. It's absolutely stunning. So there are some plus sides to getting cold and wet. And then if we come back over here, there's our trusty Model S that's been carting us all around Scotland. On charge as well. The guy just passed us a charger instead of plug in. And I'm currently working on that Model S just there. Got a little heater blowing just to keep it nice and warm. He's made me a coffee, he's brought me a Kit Kat. Um, so, uh, so today on this it's um, a brake flow change uh, don't put him a G4 filter in for his um, his front which is down the back um, this one doesn't have bio weapon defense mode so we put him that filter in because it was just empty um, so general service uh, it's having a brake lubrication as well so all the wheels off and um, the pads out and cleaned up because they do tend to seize up a little bit and ultimately that can end up warping the discs so yeah doing that and uh, he's even making me a bowl of soup for my dinner so which is utterly fantastic because one thing I've struggled with is trying to find healthy food while I've been up here so yeah so I'll carry on with this and I'll catch up with you in a little while see you in a bit I just had to stop to show you this I have left the customer's house where I was doing the Model S and I just wanted to show you my view because it's absolutely amazing 
there are definitely worse places to work. It's absolutely beautiful. I mean, why? Why wouldn't you do this job if you can work in areas like this? Absolutely fantastic. Love it here. Hey folks, so uh, I'm here in Aberdeen now, just servicing this Nissan Leaf. Tesla's on charge. Gentleman's let me use his uh, his seven kilowatt charger, which is very useful. Fortunately, the sun's come out because uh, it was minus three, but uh, this Leaf pretty much is all good to go. Uh, apart from I'm just having to uh, wind off the uh, the handbrake shoes because as per normal they're uh, they're grabbing as he pulls off the drive so uh, and they've wound themselves up too much so gonna get that done and then i'm off to do some more tesla brakes okay leaf all done brakes adjusted tire pressure's inflated on the front and uh, not a lot else really all pretty much of a muchness gonna be back here in five weeks time to service his tesla model s which is good um now this is where i'm going i've got Oh, what, nine miles to go and we're going there to do a uh, Tesla Model S with seized up rear brakes so let's get going half an hour ago sunlight beautiful sunlight and now I'm just here about to uh, do the repairs on this Tesla Model S on the back wheel the handbrake caliper there seized up by the look of it and uh, it's snowing so perfect I'm just about to finish up here good news the sun's come back out again but i just want to show you this this is the um offside rip sorry i beg your pardon the near side rear handbrake caliper so what i was expecting to see there was these pads seized on these pins usually these get filled with um grit um and then the the caliper actually re releases but um uh, in this case it's not it's actually the mechanism inside that's um that's seized up so it uh, it was locked on actually you had to hammer that off uh, and pry bar it so but yeah it's all done it's we've uh, we've just tried it and the guy's happy with it so uh, that's another job done I'm gonna get up the road I'm on my way to Kilmarnock now so uh, I'll see you in Kilmarnock so one of the benefits of bringing our Model S is that we can use the supercharger network unfortunately in Aberdeen the new supercharger is CCS only and we don't have the CCS upgrade so I'm going there to the bridge of Don because apparently there's a rapid charger there uh, so I'm going to go and top up on that it's probably going to take the best part of an hour hour and a bit just enough to get me to the next supercharger so uh, that'll be my next stop and probably a coffee this is my life at the moment hotels sounds amazing but I can tell you, it just isn't that great. I'm ready to go home now. It's been a it's been a very long week, so um, I've just got two more jobs to do now. Just in Kilmarnock, which is where I am. Um, sadly, on the way down, there was a fatality on one of the motorways, so uh, had a bit of a diversion. So it's taken me five hours to get from Aberdeen to here, which even in a Tesla is is pushing it a little bit. But um, yeah. It's uh, it's nearly the end of the week and uh, I'm ready to see the girls. So but I'm back here again on March the 15th. So uh, looking forward to that, but probably be a little bit of a shorter trip, maybe a couple of days, so we'll see. Anyway, two Nissan lifts to do first thing in the morning and then back down the road. So I'll see you in the morning. Hi folks. Okay, so first job of the day is this uh, 15 plate Nissan Leaf, 86,000 miles and needed absolutely nothing nothing doing to it at all just a pollen filter so it's doing really well it's uh not had a service probably shouldn't say this it's not had a service for the best part of fifty thousand miles so uh, considering the condition it's in it's done all right and that's his, all his fault so uh anyway next job uh, about five miles down the road so let's get a move on i want to get home okay next job i'm here in kilmarnock i've got this leaf here and uh, the gentleman's let me uh charge our model s which i very carefully laid the cable over the roof and off around the corner 
So that should give me enough to get down to Gretna Green Services because I'm heading home from here. So uh, 15 plate, quite high mileage as well. It's a well-used car. So this is my last job and I'm looking forward to going. So I'm going to crack on with it and, uh, and then get away down the road. Just need to show you this Scottish hospitality that I uh, so often receive. Cup of coffee and look at that rocky road. Oh, that's going to go down nicely. Another reason I love coming to Scotland. Hi right, folks, okay, so that's it. It's done, it's serviced. And uh, I'm taking myself, the Tesla and my Rocky Road and I'm off to Gretna Green Services. So I'll see you there. Currently here at Abingdon um, on the uh, superchargers, 66%. I'm just going to wait till I get to 75 and then get on my way. From here, I'm going down to Penrith and then to Keel, and then Keel will get me home. So, probably going to get home for, I don't know, probably eight o'clock tonight, it's saying. Amazing, which is two hours earlier than I expected. I managed to shuffle my jobs a little bit further forward this morning to get things done a little bit earlier. So, yeah, all good. So, I'm gonna crack on. Okay, folks, that's me charging at T Bay, um, and so they've got food as well. Best food that you'll get: pie and chips. Just charging at a spot under 100 kilowatts now might be able to hear the calling fans roaring away I've got 25 minutes here and then next one Stoke on Trent then home so 178 miles to go nearly there hi folks that's it I'm home it's uh, 20 past nine I've literally just gone out and emptied everything out of uh, the car that I don't need and uh, things I haven't used and then loaded it back up with stuff for tomorrow because I've got three jobs on tomorrow as well so long week but a good week, we've got a lot of work done and uh, that's pretty much what it's like being on the road as, a, as an EV tech, I suppose. Um, next time I'm back up there again in six weeks and I'll, I'll plan it a little bit differently, I think. So I won't try and squeeze as much work into some of the days uh, and sort of factor in the, the travel a little bit more. I sort of got the traveling time a little bit wrong, but I hope you've enjoyed it. Please remember to like and subscribe and follow us on Twitter at Kate Phantom. And we'll see you in another episode coming soon. So thanks for watching. See you soon.